There's recently been a new update for Luminar AI. This is update number five. They have this new feature called For This Photo. And what it does is it recommends skies that may be appropriate for the photo you're working on. Let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today we're going to look at the new update for Luminar AI. This is update number five. This is not a huge update, but it has some bug fixes, which are always welcome. And it now supports the Canon EOS R5 camera. That would be the .CR3 files. But I want to look at the uh, new uh, sky replacement feature that's been added. And it's called For This Photo. And basically what it does is Luminar AI give you suggestions of different skies, three different skies that it feels may be best for the photograph that you're working on. And I have four different images that we're going to test it out on just to see how well it works. And I think it's going to be a nice welcome addition to Luminar AI because sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't know which sky would be the most appropriate to add to a photograph. And this could help us get a good starting point. Well, let me jump right in. I'm working out of Photoshop. I duplicated the background for all these images and we're just going to come up to filter and we'll launch uh, Luminar AI and we will get started. I'm going to go ahead and click edit and then we'll come to the creative section and click on sky AI. Now here is the new section for this photo and you'll notice it's giving us three different skies that it think may be the most appropriate for this image. Let's try them out. Here's the first sky. Give it a second. Yeah, and that looks pretty cool. I like that one. Here's the second sky. Nice as well. And here's the third, a little more dramatic type sky. Well, I don't know. I think I like this one or is it this one? No, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think this will work out really well. Now, of course, you can still come to this section here and pick any of the different skies that you may like. But we're going to go ahead and check this new for this photo out today. So I'm going to go with this guy right here. I really think this new feature is going to be a real time saver. It's going to help us cut to the chase really quick and picking a sky. Now, I think the sky is going in the wrong direction because I think my shadows are on the right on this image. And sometimes I have a hard time reading that. Uh, but let me go ahead and flip this sky. I'm just going to click flip. And now I think that's going to work out better. At least look more realistic. So here's the before. And here's the after, and I even have some reflection in the water here, and that looks really good. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of this new For This Photo feature. I think it's going to be something we can really use, but I'd like to know what your thoughts are and what you think about it. Now, let me go ahead and click on Scene Relighting. Let me relight the scene a little bit. I always like to work with this just to see if I can make it blend in a little bit better with the environment, the new sky. I think that looks good. And then I think I might just come up here to Enhance AI, give it a little bit of Accent AI. Maybe let's try Sky Enhancer, if I could click on it properly and slide this slider. And yeah, maybe just a little bit there. Maybe a little more Accent AI. Here's the overall before and here is the after. So I like that one. I think that looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply and then we'll move on to the second example. Here's the before and here's the after. I like it. We even have some nice reflection in the water down here. Let's go ahead and move on to the second example. I've already duplicated the background layer, so I'll just come to filter and we'll launch Luminar AI again. I'll jump right into edit and sky AI and see what suggestions we get this time. Let's try these out. These three images right here are these three photos of clouds. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Well, I like that one. Here's the third one, a more dramatic sky. Actually, I think I do like this dramatic sky. Uh, I'm just going to let, let the orientation stay the way it is. I think it's okay for this image. I'm probably wrong, but you'll correct me if I am. I know that. Now, this sky needs to uh, blur out a little bit because it's softer in the background. So let's come down here to sky adjustments and let's defocus that sky a bit. Take it out of focus just to make it match into the environment a little better. I don't know, maybe 
some something like that i think looks pretty good let's go to scene relighting and let's relate the scene yeah i want to darken it down a little bit because now we're looking more into the sunset maybe somewhere around there maybe work with the relight saturation yeah i think i'll do some of that and we can relate the human if we need to but I think the human looks pretty good. And now let's go to enhance and let's bump up the accent AI a bit. And do I want to mess with the sky enhancer? I like to try it just to see what it does. Maybe just a wee little bit there. So here's our before and here's our after. And I think that works out really well for that. I'm going to jump back to Sky AI and add a little bit of atmospheric haze to the sky back there because I think a little bit of haze back there will really help it out. Let me go ahead and see what I can do here. Well, that's too much. Okay, find a spot that I like. I think right there looks pretty good. And maybe bring my defocus not quite as far out of focus. Something like that. So here is the before and here's the after. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click apply and send this back into Photoshop. And here's the before. And here is the after. So I like it. I think it really helps it out. Let's move on to our next image. Let's see what kind of a sky luminar AI will suggest for us this time. I'll go ahead and click edit and sky AI. And OK, so we have these three skies. Let's try the first one. Here's the first sky, uh, not bad. Here's the second sky, kind of like that one. And here's the third sky, a more dramatic sky. I think I'm gonna go with the second sky this time. My shadows are moving to the left now. It's lighter on the right side, so I think it's orientated right, but correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, Luminar AI, if you're listening out there, it would be great if you added a feature which would determine which direction to have your sky going for you that would be kind of cool and very helpful i think i'll relight the scene a little bit somewhere right around there i think looks good and the sky adjustment i think i want to add maybe a little bit more atmospheric haze to the sky something like that because there's a lot of haze and dust back in here and i think that'll help and also, I think I need to warm up the sky a little bit because this image has an overall warm feel to it. So let me go ahead and warm it up just a wee bit, just a little bit to kind of match it into the environment, maybe somewhere around there. Let's go to Enhance AI. How about a little bit of Accent AI? Not too much. Maybe somewhere in there looks pretty good. And how about a little Sky Enhancer? Is that going to help? Maybe just a slight amount of that. Here is the before. And here is the after. So I kind of like that. I'll go ahead and click apply and send it back into Photoshop. Here's the before and here's the after. And I think that really helps this image out a lot. I like it. Now let's move on to our last example. I've used this image recently in a TK Friday episode. Every Friday on my channel, I do a TK Friday episode, which is basically using uh, TK actions and luminosity masks. A lot of people like that series. So if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. I'm using Tony Kuiper's great TK panels. So I'll come up to filter and Skylum Software Luminar AI, and we'll do the last image. I'll jump right in, edit. Sky AI. Now here are our suggested skies. Let's try the first one. Not bad. Here's the second one. Not bad, but here is the third one. I think I'm going to like this one, but is it going the right direction? I think the sky is going in the wrong direction. So what I'll do is flip it because I believe the light is coming from the left hand side, if I'm not mistaken. And I think this is going in the right direction. I'll open up scene relighting and let me relight here a little bit. I think it's going to help. Yeah, I think somewhere around there. Let's try the relight saturation. Maybe just a little wee bit of that. Everything else looks pretty good. I'm going to jump right up to enhance AI. Give it a little bit of accent AI. Yeah, I think a little bit of that. Sometimes a little of this goes a long way. How about a little Sky Enhancer? Yeah, maybe just a little Sky Enhancer. Here is the 
before, and here is the after. I like it. I think I'm going to be happy with that. I'll go ahead and click apply and that'll send us back into Photoshop. Now here is the before and here is the after. And I think that really turned out well. So here was my first example today. We had this image that started out looking like this. We added the sky and now it looks like this. And we're using the new for this photo feature to help us come quickly to the proper sky. Here's my second image. Here's the before and here's the after. I really love the way that one turned out. Here's my third image. Here's my before and here's my after. Again, I like the way that turned out. Actually, I like the way they all turned out. And here's my last image. So that is the new feature for this photo to help you to cut to the chase quickly to help you find a sky fast. Well, there it is, everyone, the new update for Luminar AI. I really wanted to show you this new uh, for this photo sky replacement feature. I really like it. Now, if Luminar AI would only add another new feature and that would uh, let Luminar determine which direction the sky should be pointing and that would be super great if you enjoyed this tutorial today please give it a like and share it with your friends and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel please subscribe click that bell notification icon then every time i upload a new tutorial you'll be notified about it i want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with dave kelly and i'll see you all right here next time but until then happy editing <laughs>